Over the last couple of weeks, we've done these features for Nintendo and Sony exclusive games. Doing one for Xbox is a lot harder, owing simply to the fact that Xbox doesn't have as rich of a history with boss fights as the other two platforms do. But that doesn't mean there haven't been any highlights at all. And in this feature, we'll be talking about some of our favorite boss fights in Xbox exclusive games over the years. Note, there are spoilers ahead for all games mentioned in this feature. If you see us talking about a game you don't want spoiled, skip ahead to the next entry. Berserker Matriarch, Gears 5 The boss fight against the Berserker Matriarch in Gears 5 was probably one of the best moments in the entire game. A perfect blend of challenge and tight design, the fight saw players having to take on a rampaging beast as it charged at you with stunning ferocity. Navigating around her and attacking her weak point was infamously grueling, but the hook of dunking her in the ice-cold water beneath her feet added a nice little twist to the encounter. Alpha 152, Dead or Alive 4 One of the most infamously hard boss battles in fighting games, but one that we can't help but love. Visually, Alpha 152 seems a little unassuming, seeing as she's more or less an alternate version of Kasumi. But when you get to the actual fight, she quickly reveals how formidable she is as a foe. From being able to teleport behind you, to being equipped with one of the most erratic and unpredictable movesets for any character in the entire game, Alpha 152 is a boss that will push you to your absolute limits. Paul Serene, Quantum Break If you like your games challenging, boy is this the boss fight for you. Waves of regular enemies are hard enough to deal with during this encounter, but Paul's deadly attacks, especially his mines, can be even more devastating, and having to contend with both at the same time is by no means an easy task. Constantly staying on the move and fighting against your instincts and not relying on cover too much are absolutely critical in this boss fight. The Building Sunset Overdrive Sunset Overdrive is probably one of the best games on the Xbox One, and while its ending surely had its fair share of detractors, you cannot deny that the final encounter against the building is a hell of a lot of fun. It takes the traversal mechanics, which are unquestionably the highlight of Sunset Overdrive, and doubles down on them, making them the central mechanic of the final boss fight. Sure, it's not particularly hard, but what it lacks in challenge, it more than makes up for with how much fun it is. Riftworm, Gears of War 2 Technically, you never really fight the Riftworm itself. It swallows the Delta Squad whole, and then they have to make their way out of it. But while this may not be a boss fight in the traditional sense of the word, the set piece that sees Marcus and company destroying the Riftworm's heart and then cutting their way out of this giant monstrosity is an unforgettable sequence. Quolock, Ori and the Will of the Wisps Ori and the Will of the Wisps is probably one of the best Metroidvania games we've ever played, so when we say that its boss fights are some of the best parts of the entire game, you know that that is not light praise. This fight especially is a gem, from the escape sequence that leads up to it to the gruelingly difficult fight that follows and takes place across multiple stages, this fight serves as a perfect example of how to design a boss fight that strikes gold in terms of both design and difficulty. The narrative context around this encounter also lends great weight to the encounter, making it that much more memorable. Scarab Tanks, Halo 3 Halo isn't a franchise that puts too much stock in traditional boss battles, but it does make you go up against some pretty formidable foes on a constant basis. In Halo 3, the Scarab Tanks were an absolute menace, and each fight against them was a rush. Avoiding their deadly beams and trying to find a way into their control rooms, while often also having to deal with other enemies, could pose a real challenge, but surmounting that challenge was accompanied with an immense adrenaline rush each and every time. Final Boss, Shin Megami Tensei 9 Shin Megami Tensei as a franchise has always been known for its boss fights, especially final bosses. And though Shin Megami Tensei 9 is one of the lesser known games in the series, it doesn't buck that trend. The final boss, in true SMT fashion, is defined by incredibly high stakes and sees its combat mechanics, 
difficulty, solid boss design, and excellent music coming together to deliver a suitably climactic fight. General Rom, Gears of War General Rom was an imposing presence throughout all of Gears of War, to the extent that many fans of the series still consider him to be the best Gears villain, and the final fight against him surely did justice to the threat that he posed. Besides the fact that fighting on top of a speeding train that was rushing through a blasted landscape was just an extremely cool and cinematic setup for a climactic fight against the big bad, the game also put your skills to the test as he flitted from one spot to the other, forcing you to stay in cover while he let loose with his deadly attacks. The Uber Mech, Mech Assault 2 Lone Wolf. When it was at its best, the Battle Mech franchise was a force to be reckoned with, and Mech Assault 2 was definitely one of the best games to come out of that property. And it ended on a high note as well. The final encounter against the Uber Mech isn't particularly challenging, but it captures what makes this game so good. It has great music, it looks great, at least for a game that came out in 2004, and blasting away at the boss with ridiculously over-the-top weapons is an absolute riot. Tartarus, Halo 2 Brutes are always formidable enemies in Halo, but none of them can hold a candle to Tartarus, the guy who could take down entire waves of elites without breaking a sweat. The fight against him in Halo 2 was suitably hard, to the extent that playing through it on Legendary difficulty might just be one of the toughest boss battles we've ever experienced in an Xbox exclusive game. Say what you will about Halo 2's campaign and how it ends, but this fight we cannot find fault with, no matter how hard we try. Queen Mira, Gears of War 3 Given the fact that Gears of War 3 ends with you taking on a giant flying bug queen while hordes of locusts attack you at the same time, we'd say the game does a pretty good job of ending things with a bang. It also helps that this is a boss fight that actually requires plenty of skill and attention. Mira has some very dangerous attacks that she can let loose, some of which can even destroy flimsier pieces of cover, so staying on the move and finding cover at the right moments is very important. When played on hardcore or insane, this fight is particularly difficult, but it's easy to appreciate its solid design on any difficulty. Warden Eternal, Halo 5 Guardians. The very definition of a persistent enemy, Halo 5 Guardians got a lot of things wrong, but the boss fights against the Warden Eternal were definitely a highlight of the experience. As anyone who's played the game would tell you, these fights were no cakewalk, especially on Legendary difficulty. Sure, having to face the same enemy repeatedly sort of got a little annoying by the end, but in isolation, it's hard not to appreciate the design of these boss fights. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.